Hi and welcome to another how-to video with Total Tech Resource. This is Trey and I'm going to show you how to save a list as a template and export it onto another page in SharePoint 2010. The first thing we're going to need to do is set up a list inside of SharePoint. For the sake of the how-to video, I've already created a list. I've called this list Payroll. This payroll list is just a basic list to show the employee, hours worked, the pay rate of the employee, and the type of work the employee provided. To export this list, we'll go to List, List Settings, and Save List as a Template. We need to name the list, and we'll name it something generic, Employee Payroll. Notice now we're prompted with a check mark to include content. We can include this type of content in your template if we want the new list created from the template to include the items already in the list. This will increase the size of the template but however it makes it convenient when there's a lot of data already associated to this list. For now we will check mark the list to show that the content has been included. Now we know this is, prompts us this is operation completed successfully. We now need to manage our template. We'll go to the list template gallery to do this. And notice here it shows the employee payroll that we just created. We want to download a copy of this and we're going to save it. We'll save it in a downloaded box. Employee payroll. Now that it is downloaded, we'll need to reopen it in the correct SharePoint page. Since we first put this in the accounting page, under payroll, let's move it to the payroll department. Notice we have a payroll portal on the list that does not have anything else. So we'll, to add this new list, we're going to go to site actions, more options, list. Notice it has employee payroll here. We'll click it and we're going to name this employee payroll again. more options and let's go ahead and display it on the quick launch and click create. Notice now that the list has been populated from our custom list. We have employee payroll. It's now under the payroll department instead of the accounting department. Now you may be wondering why I saved it to the desktop after I exported it. In case you need to move lists across site collections in the same form, you can save the list to the desktop and then reapply it, redeploy it through the template gallery master. This will help you save time. I hope this how-to video has provided enough information to migrate lists across your SharePoint deployment. If you need any additional questions or help, please contact us at ttrcorp.com. Thank you and have a good day.